YouTube, you've really screwed it up this time. Well, I'm uh, just going to renew my driver's license first. It's due again. I'll come here. I'll get a bite to eat after that. Not sure where yet. A few coffee clubs around here. Where are we going? Queensland Transport. I don't know what they'll charge. <coughs> Must be five years already since I renewed my license. I guess we'll find out. Well, just a uh, little recording out here in the in the yard. Um, because the cat's just out of shot there. YouTube, you've really screwed up this time. Um, look, I when I make my videos, I've always given credit when I use any sound or music um, so far I've never had a breach and that remains the way now however had a very interesting one yesterday morning automatically from YouTube uh, alerting me of a um, copyright claim but there was no music no sound effects or anything used in the video in fact it was a uh, helping out a friend do a self test for an audition for some acting and um, I did some voiceover work and I thought how on earth is this a copyright breach of anything it's not a famous script or anything even to think well you know he's copywritten the words and then it dawned on me when we had lunch yesterday I thought a bit I know in part of the sequence just to add some atmosphere um, he's added some uh, Crickets chirping. I thought, I bet somewhere that's a song. That's the beginning of a song or part of a song. Crickets chirping. Guaranteed, I'll, uh, I'll check that out. But I'm sorry, YouTube. I think you're a great, clever, smart thing with all your bots and everything. And uh, Google is running it the best they can, I suppose. But uh, putting a copyright claim in on crickets, I don't think you can do that, no matter... How much you'd like to I'm pretty sure you can't and of course as is the way now with everything automated you can't really contact them and go hey I don't think this is right uh, the only thing it does prevent which potentially is a pain and it's not in this case it's a um, it's more or less a what's meant to more or less be a private self test but it's on my acting channel the potential is there for when you monetize videos as a creator for um, you losing income because in this scenario there's crickets I mean come on fair suck of the Savile lawyers they used to say uh, I can understand if you're using someone's copywritten music and it's not um, it doesn't fall under the Creative Commons banner etc <laughs> Okay, well actually, got the key to the toilet this time. Toilet key. That's done. 170 bucks down the girdle for no particular reason. Other than they can. Well, it's over and done with for another five years. Now to find somewhere to eat. Oh, there's 
stop at my favourite seafood place and get something to eat on like that. Charlie! It's Charlie! Charlie's back! Hey buddy! You're on? How you doing? Go on, mate, buddy! Hey, shake your hands. Shake your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so he's having a documentary on Charlie. And this is why I keep coming here, year after year, almost decade after decade. It's beautiful fish. Poor. Oh. Couldn't resist. Once a month I might have one of these. These are the most solid, frozen thick shakes ever. Mm. And they're bloody awesome. So, it's hard to pick out once in a blue moon. It's not all the time. But, uh, better get your act together YouTube because Look, I'm only a small fish in a huge ocean, but eventually there will be another platform come along. And uh, business is business. I mean, most of us are here for the fun of it. But a lot of people are making big money out of YouTube. Uh, and at the end of the day, there's an old uh, saying, you don't uh, stuff with another person's livelihood. Well, that's the clean version of the old saying and it uh, remains true to this day. So, here I am, bloating this out into space like most people. Falling on deaf ears, no doubt. But, uh, yeah, I found it quite interesting. Catch you later.